Okay, Steve, let's get right down to it. Lots to talk about, as always. So let's talk about the squad you have here, a largely European-based squad. Talk about your ethos for picking the players for this team. Well, I mean, it was quite simple. Um, I wanted to go with, uh, with, with players that, would, that were playing in games that would be more uh, match fit. And I knew some of the MLS players were in an earlier preseason, and uh, we had to call upon them. It was not my original intention. But, um, you know, I, I wanted to go with players that, that were playing and were, and were sort of in season. Okay, some new faces in the team, Toe Saints uh, up front and Milan and goal. Talk about the two new players. Um, well, I've, I've seen Tosh before. He came into Cyprus. Um, he's just had a move uh, a move to Romania and, and we're still looking for some depth in, in, in wide positions. So we, we, we thought it was a good opportunity to, to take a look at him. And Milan, of, of course, uh, the, the goalkeeping uh, situation is, is sort of uh, one that, once again, that, that we're looking for depth. and, and uh, I, I spoke to Milan uh, personally, had a meeting with him and his parents and he decided to come in and uh, we, we'll see how he does. Your brand of football for Canada has always been vibrant and attacking. You went into Ukraine and picked an attacking side, played with an attacking formation. Is that the plan again for tomorrow? Yeah, I, I think for all these games it's more important how we approach things, how we go into the game, the, do the things we can do. Um, uh, there, there, there will come a time when, when we know we, we have to, to, be, to play reactionary football and, and adjust a, a lot to what the opposition is doing. But right now that's, that's not our focus. It's to give the players confidence into, into how to go forward, how to play a progressive possession sort of game. And, and, and they know that uh, we, we've made it quite clear and, and we'll stay focused on that for now. You're playing a team that won the European Championships in 2004 by playing a defensive counter-attacking style of football. Uh, I know that's not your style, but when you have to go into Azteca or you have to go into the Home Depot Center to play the States or to play Mexico in qualifying, how do you approach those kind of games? Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when that time comes, uh, you know, there, there'll be a phase where we, where we start to work on, on that aspect of, of our game. Um, it's, it's sometimes a little bit easier to be destructive than it is to be creative. So it, it uh, you know, when, when that time comes, we would, we would work on it. Uh, I don't want to give the impression that we don't work on those things at all of course we do we, we knew we know who are their dangerous players how they like to play and, and how we'd like to, to to contain their team um, that that's that's obvious that we, that we do that but it's not the main uh, focus of our team at the moment okay fair enough and on a personal note Steve it wasn't so long ago you were managing what was essentially a local amateur team in Halifax you've obviously come a long way been through a lot are you ever surprised when you wake up and say I'm leading Canada to face Greece tomorrow yeah of course I mean uh, you know, it, it, I went from you know doing the two, the youth teams for for ten years, the the Canadian youth teams, and and that gives you a different perspective on on things. It's it's more detailed, uh, of course, because you're trying to raise youngsters not only to be footballers, but but to how to approach life, how to become a professional, and uh, and then now I, I had uh, two stints uh, as an assistant coach with the senior team. I saw everything that's going on. I, I know the situation with Canada in terms of, of what we can afford, what we cannot afford and, and, and you just try to, to build and, and slowly uh, make things better as you go along. But you, you know when you are coming in what you are working with and, and you do your best. Okay, and I don't want to dive too deep into politics, but some of Canada's main competitors have played three, four games since Canada last played. We know budget is an issue. Is budget the main issue when it comes to lining up friendlies? Yeah, uh, I think the, the the situation is 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 always one of, of money. You know, from from your budgets, you 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 have to to not only get the games, but you you have to pay salaries. You you have to do everything. So it's uh, it's always a difficult situation. And and the CSA, when I came in, I, I told them that I would like certain things done and they have tried their best to, to, to get me the games and at this point the games are important. Even the players make sacrifice so that we can we can play more of these sort of games. Um, we, we spoke to the players about it, uh, whoever negotiates for the players spoke and, and they agreed and uh, they would like Canada to be to be successful and they do whatever it takes for that to happen. A final question for you, Stephen. Canada seems to have lined up a friendly for late March. Some talk that might be against Belarus. Can you confirm anything on that front? Um, the, the, we still need to, to get uh, T's crossed and I's dotted. Um, and, and I hope we get the game in March. Uh, originally, we didn't have any game in March. And, and I, would like a, I would like a game in March uh, leading up to, to, to Gold Cup. So once that is done, I suppose everybody will hear about it pretty soon.